So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Um, today is day 15 of all. Um, I've been really looking at that thing of including all of my life in how I filter and live my life rather than trying to say, oh, that part's not good enough or that part has no value or I could, you know, just that I have this really deep internal judge who judges that certain ways of resourcing, like, for example, watching Netflix or having a glass of wine is not the good way to resource. And then really just giving myself a break and going, it's okay, you know, that, so yeah, give yourself a break, you know, be kind. It's very nice. And then include all of you in how you experience you. All of it has value. All of it is you. And um, yeah, really welcoming the deep of you to be present. Um, so come, let's light our candle, come. If you're doing an oil, take an oil. Taking a deep breath, smelling it, feeling the sensations of the oil. You know, I can feel how it slightly burns my eyes, <laughs> how it's like really cool in my lungs. And there's almost like um, something in my throat that goes, oh, this is so strong. And I love it. And then give yourself some contact, just gently holding, receiving, being kind, all of you hands to your heart and just feel the whole of this moment as you inhale, as you exhale, noticing sensations, you know, so feel the sensation of your hands on your heart, your bum on something, the way your legs are, the way your spine is. Include the doing of this moment, the holding of this position, and then the being of this moment. You know, the sensations that arise that are just inherently you, the deep of you arising. Being kind, being present. Allowing. Nice. So come, 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 come uh, into a child, into a cat's pose. Come. I have no dogs today. They've all, they're all sleeping in front of the fire this morning. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and just rounding and arching. Just feel the deep of your spine rounding, arching. One more time, rounding, arching. A coordination, squeeze the right side, squeeze the left side, the right side. Left side, nice. Draw your right knee up to your right elbow. Swing your right foot around the corner. Look back over the corner to look at your foot. So follow your knee with your head. Just find a sense of flow. Always when I do this first in the morning, there's this kind of jerky, wobbly feeling in the deep of my rib cage, the deep of my lower back, and even down into the bum and the leg. So how do you smoothen this moving out? Nice, other side. Endeavoring to smoothen, but really allowing as a result. So it's not that I'm stopping the experience of how I am, it's that I'm including that and then noticing how it changes. What we bring our awareness to 
has the possibility to change. If we're not aware of something, how can it change? Not that we want to change either, but just bring in your awareness in. Hmm, interesting. This side is much, much smoother for me. Nice. Cool. From here, bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Rock forwards. Rock back. Forwards. Back. Forwards. And back. Pause on the back. Move your foot. Nice. Rock forwards. Nice. From here, rising up. So rise up so your right hand is on your right knee and your left hand is just hanging down and you're going to do elephant with the left hand. So elephant is where your hand swings across and it's suddenly I feel like, wow, there's my left side. Nice. And then swing down, grab the back of your thigh with your left hand and then do elephant with the right hand. Nice. Elephant with the left. Notice how it's kind of a diagonal with the spine as you swap sides, elephant with the right. One more time. Elephant with the left, holding on to the right knee. Elephant with the right. Bring your hands into a prayer position. Bring your left elbow across. Float it just above your knee. Back up to center. Bring your right shoulder down to your knee. Inside. Left elbow across. And then right shoulder down. One more time. Left shoulder, elbow across. And then right shoulder down. Nice. Cool. Coming up. Last one of these on this side. Reaching up with both arms. Turn your palms forward. Pull your elbows down. And let your chest pop up. And then round your back like you're about to dive into a swimming pool. Pull your elbows back. And then dive. One more time. Pull your elbows back and dive. Bring both hands down, both hands to the floor. Push back into your downward dog. Give that left knee some love. Thank you very much. Bend both knees, stretch both legs. Bend both knees, stretch both legs. Nice. Both knees to the floor. Bring your left foot to the outside of your right, uh, left hand. Cool. Begin to rock. And just feel that the experience of this side is always really different. Uh, even though they're both legs, they both really have this capacity to express different sensations, different experiences, different abilities, different connections. Nice. Next time that you sit back, pause there. You're sitting back, just wiggle your foot, feel into your foot. Include all of this, you know, there's not like, oh, my legs are tight, I'm not doing it right. That's not true. It's this is how my leg is right now and I'm meeting it with kindness and I'm moving my foot. Bend your knee, rock forward. Cool. So rising up, bring your left hand to your left knee, rising up. Sweep your right foot, run. <laughs> Keep your foot where it is. <laughs> Sweep your right hand across into elephant. And then reach behind you, grab hold of your thigh and reach the left hand up into elephant as well. Right hand across, elephant. And hold on to your thigh. Elephant. One more time, each side. Elephant. Really enjoy the sensations, they're awesome. Cool. Palm, hands into prayer position. Float your right elbow just above the left knee. Come back. Shoulder down to your knee. Nice. Float across. Down to your knee. Nice. One last time. <laughs> Super cool. Last of these. Reaching up tall. Pull your elbows down. Let your chest pop forward. Dive forward. Pull your elbow back. And forward. Include the fact that your knee is now talking to you. It's telling you, wow, this is a kind of a fitness. Hands to the floor, <laughs> push back. And have a bit of a wiggle. 
Nice, walk forward to the front of your mat. Bend your knees, straighten your legs. Bend your knees, straighten your legs. Perhaps sit down into the lowest version of a squat that you do. Listen to your knees, listen to your spine. Maybe you have your elbows resting on your knees. Maybe you have your hands resting on your knees. Maybe you sit down onto a low pillow or a low chair that's in your house. See, hover just above a chair sometimes. Somebody was saying once that they really struggled with squatting. And I was saying, just find a chair that you're almost just hovering above. And that way, if you need to, you can just sit your bum down and gradually get lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. And just feel that. Whatever version of this you're doing, notice it. Notice where your breath is. For me, when I breathe, when I took a deep breath there, there was this amazing widening across my lower back into the back of the rib cage, the lumbar area. Nice, rising up. So either bring your elbows to your knees, hands to your knees, and push, rising all the way up to stand. <laughs> nice. So we're going to come to the wall. So we were at the wall last week. It was Wednesday and Thursday we were at the wall. So come to the wall or to the chair. So you had the option last week of putting your foot on a couch if your hamstrings really struggled with the length of this, or bring your right foot to the, to the wall, okay? So reach out towards the wall or hold on to your thigh and just bend your knee and then slowly straighten your leg. So wherever you are, either on a chair, make sure the chair is really solid that you're on, nothing slidey. And just feel, like how do I really feel the rebound and then the straightening and then get super straight at the end. Feel the rebound and then super straight and long. Rebound, straighten one more time, rebound, <laughs> I like that word. Cool, bring your palms together, bend your knee, and then bring your left elbow across so it floats just near your right knee. Pause there, get super long into that standing leg. Nice, other direction, bring your right shoulder to your right knee, pause there. Nice. Straighten your front leg, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Pause there. Bring your palms forward, last one. Pull your right elbow back. Hold on to the right leg with your left hand. Pull your right elbow back and then reach your right hand back behind you. So I'm holding on to a straight leg or a bent knee, of course, bending both knees if you need to. And reach your right hand back and really use the lever of your hand on your thigh to give you a little bit more connection backwards. Super, bend your knee, come forward, pause. Feeling your left leg and buttock deeply. Nice, just lift up onto your toes. Lift up onto your toes. Just feel that, engaging through both legs. Bring your feet slightly wide, hands to your hips, roll deeply into your hips. So as I do this, I have more flickers and tingles, or not even tingles, flickers and twangs through the left buttock because we just stood on it, got really engaged. Notice for you, which one is more conversationalist right now? I don't think that's right, English, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Nice, other side. So bring in your left foot to, the, uh, to a chair or bring your left foot to the wall. Reach towards the wall or hold on to your knee, bend your knee, feel the rebound, and then straighten your leg deeply. Bend your knee. And I'm kind of pushing my foot into the wall. So it's not, it's like this funny way of being aware of my leg. Rebound, lengthen, rebound, lengthen. Include all of you. So maybe one of your legs is a little bit tighter right now, a little bit weaker, less able, and that's okay. Include that, adjust, change, be you, adapt, okay? From here, bring your 
palms together, bring your right elbow over towards your left knee. You can come into contact or just float above. Stand really tall into the right leg. Nice, as a direction, bring your left shoulder down to your left knee. Pause there. I was talking to two different people last week who were both saying that their hamstrings really were challenged by this. Great. <laughs> Come back to center. From here, straighten your front leg. Reach your right hand forward and then pull your left elbow back. So both legs are endeavoring to lengthen, but find what version of this you do. So I'm doing kind of a revolving triangle type thing in the air. <laughs> nice. Bend your front knee. Bring both feet to the floor and just shake out your legs. I just feel. Nice. Reach your arms wide. Bring your palms together, reaching up, looking up. Bending your elbows, bending your knees, coming down. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands to your shins. Lift your chest and look forward. Hands to the floor, step your right foot back. From here, turn both feet towards the right hand side of your mat. Hands are on the floor, bending one knee, bending the other knee, bending one knee. So I'm not moving my feet at all as I do this. Okay, so my feet are staying very stable, very connected to the floor. The outer edge of my feet is really active to keep my feet flat. I'm just noticing bending, bending, nice. So next time, so I'm going to go towards the right and turn both feet slightly like a windscreen wiper towards the right. And then bring your right elbow to your right thigh and reach your left hand over towards the right. Water whooshing. Wow, just so yum, this movement. Really connecting into the left leg, baby toe side is down. Push deeply down into the right elbow, right forearm. Both hands down to the floor, windscreen wiper your two toes over towards the left, left elbow to your left thigh, reach your right hand long and strong over towards the left. Really lengthening into that back leg, feeling the reach from the deep of your belly into your fingertips. So we're going to travel with this. So hands to the floor, windscreen wiper to the right, water whoosh to the right. Hands to the floor, windscreen wiper to the left. Whoosh. So you can travel without touching the floor. Those of you who've been with me forever now <laughs> know this movement. I start to rise up onto the back toes and I really feel that sense of whoosh. I drag my hand along the floor and I'm flinging water as I go. I don't think we did water washing since, since the middle of my holidays. Nice, one more time each side. Nice, come back to center. From here, bring both knees down. Sit your bum down. Fling your legs forward, landing on your bum. We did do a start of a sun salutation and didn't finish. So those of you who are feeling slightly half cooked in that way, don't worry. <laughs> Great, so wiggle your toes. Just wiggle them, open them, close them. Just feel like toes are amazing. And then stretch your feet. Feet are amazing. And then roll your ankles and I always bring my feet slightly further apart so they have space. Mm, enjoy your feet. I feel the, the yum of your feet. Open your toes, squeeze them in fast. Open them fast. And close. Fast. So close them in really tight. And then when they open, say in your mind, <laughs> so, so, on the count of three, we're going to open them really fast. Okay, so one, two, surprise! 
<laughs> surprise. So just do that a few times. And every time they open, say, surprise. I just love it. They're such happy little things, toes, when you really start listening to them. <laughs> Bring the soles of your feet together. Just rub your feet. Give thanks for these toes, these feet. Every step you've taken. Every step you take. It's one of those. Move into your ankles, squeezing them. Nice. Cross your ankles in some kind of way. Stretch your legs out. Get your pillow underneath your bum if you wish. I'm going to put a pillow underneath my bum. If you have a block, a book, doesn't matter. Bring your palms together. So bring your thumb and forefinger together and pull like you're pulling from the deep of your heart out and wide. So the backs of your hands are reaching further and further back and the front of your heart is opening. Nice. Sweep the backs of your hands towards each other as you round your back and then scoop towards your heart and offer forth from the deep of your heart. Thumb and forefinger touch, have your hands slightly lower and now pull from the deep of your belly wide. So as you widen, feel like the whole front of your belly is widening and opening. Back of your hands swoop towards each other, round your lower back and then scoop towards your belly and offer the deep of your knowing forward. So we're gonna flow, pull wide from your heart sweep towards the center rounding your back scoop and offer pull wide low backs of your hands come together scoop and offer so just whatever version of this that you do i do towards the heart and then i descend and i do towards the belly like a weaving of the deep of you or a acknowledgement of all that you are and that all is allowed to be included managing your resources always so just feeling are you cultivating your resources to be equal to the deep of you to the sensitivity of you to the whole of you. Nice. Bring your palms together in front of your chest. Just closing your eyes. You can bring your hands to your heart as well. I think I prefer that. Hands to your heart or palms together if you wish. And just get a sense of you in this moment. How wonderful. So come lie on the floor or just rest there holding your heart. Um, for me, there's always this, is it a juxtaposition? Is it um, counterintuitive? This time of year, we should all be uh, hibernating, you know, going into the deep of the year, you know, kind of resting in front of the fire, resting in. And so in me, I feel that I feel like, oh, the fire and I want to tend to the land a bit deeper at the moment. And I want to walk and watch the sky for the light in the sky. And so feel the deep longing in you. There's this longing. It's like it doesn't even have a name. And I think it's our connection to the cycles of the sun and to the nature around us. So hear the deep longing and respond. Um, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, so beautiful. Such a wonderful thing to do is be here with you this morning. Um, so see you tomorrow. Be well, be awesome, be you, and listen to the deep of you. Include all of it. It's all really welcome. Great. Bye.